Nathan Hale, America's First Spy Good morning, class. Today we will be learning about an American hero, Nathan Hale. Nathan Hale was born on June 6, 1755 in Coventry, Connecticut. His family were Puritans and instilled in their children the importance of education, hard work, and fairness. His family were prominent in the community and had a very prosperous farm. Any ideas on what kind of farm it was? If you guessed livestock, you are correct. At the age of 14, Nathan Hale was sent to Yale College, where he did very well in literature, mathematics, and other academic subjects. Right now, would you rather be in 8th grade or college? His family wanted him to become a minister after he graduated, but he chose to become a school teacher instead. He graduated from Yale in 1773 at the age of 18. Hale felt both men and women should have equal rights to education, and held classes for young women so that they could receive an education as well. This was a really radical move for that time. How do you feel about what he did? Now we are going to talk about Nathan Hale's military career and how he became America's first spy. In the month of July 1775, Hale joined the Military Regiment of Connecticut and was elected first lieutenant. He was made a captain in General George Washington's Continental Army in January 1776. In August 1776, after a disappointing loss at the Battle of Long Island, General Washington began asking for volunteers to cross enemy lines. He desperately needed reliable information on the British Army's next moves. Nathan Hale volunteered to be a spy around the 8th of September, 1776, fully knowing the dangers. Spies were considered to be illegal soldiers, and if caught, they were quickly executed. His strategy meetings with General Washington were kept private, but Washington did not keep Nathan Hale's spying activities top secret. He was sent out into the field with no special training whatsoever. Hale went to New York City under the pretense of being a Dutch school teacher seeking work. His spy mission ended after only one week when he was caught gathering information on the British troops. I think, class, it is safe to say that Nathan Hale was not a very good spy. What did you find most interesting so far? Some historians say Nathan was discovered by a suspicious British major, Robert Rogers, who pretended to be an American spy, gained Hale's trust, and got him to reveal his mission. Others say that Nathan was turned in by his cousin Samuel Hale, who was a British loyalist. Hale was taken to the British Army's headquarters for questioning. Incriminating evidence such as sketches of the British camp, written notes of troops' positions and numbers, plus maps were found in Nathan's possession. <laughs> he was charged with espionage and was sentenced to death the very next day. <laughs> On the morning of September 22, 1776, Nathan Hale was marched down the road to the gallows at Artillery Park. The last words he spoke were, I only regret that I have but one life to lose for my country. He was only 21 years old when he was hanged. They left his body hanging for many days and later buried him in an unmarked grave, never to be found. 
An empty grave monument was placed in his honor by his family, which now stands in the Nathan Hale Cemetery in Connecticut. Many memorials and statues were erected honoring his service to the country, his bravery, and his self-sacrifice. These statues are based on idealized images of him described by people who knew him. There have been no existing portraits or pictures found of Nathan Hale. The actual quote attributed to Nathan Hale came from a second source, a British soldier named John Montressor, who personally witnessed the execution and then repeated Hale's last words to an American officer, William Hull. Hull publicized the statement throughout the colonies, inspiring patriots of the time. His death motivated General Washington not to repeat the same intelligence gathering mistakes and his subsequent spy ring, the Culper Spies, were very successful during the remainder of the American Revolutionary War. Hale was the great-grandson of the Reverend John Hale, a prominent person during the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Nathan Hale was the very first American during the American Revolution to be executed for spying on the British. Connecticut officially designated Nathan Hale as a state hero in 1985. Okay, class. That's it for today. See you tomorrow. In the month of July, 1770, he was charged with espionage and was sentenced to death of the very... Hey, you, Nathan Hale. The Nathan Hale cement cement. He was charged with ep es ep. Now, what can we talk about his career? Hale fent.